Welcome back, AD fam. If you're new here, my name's Amanda. My boyfriend's name's Daniel, and we are AD Vlogs. <laughs> if you are new here, make sure to subscribe, join the family. We'd love to have you. The AD fam is growing so quickly. So make sure to hop in the fam so you don't miss any new uploads, updates, or anything like that. And for our OGs, today we have another story time. <laughs> Tell you guys about the time that i pretended to be asleep to avoid the cops yeah okay so this story takes place after high school but before i was 21. <laughs> if you guys have been here for a while you would know that i got expelled my sophomore year i can also link that above if you've not heard that story you know i didn't i definitely did not do what i used to i was not really partying or drinking or doing anything like that that was not really of my interest and if you guys actually do know me you would know that even now at 26 i don't really drink this was before I dated Daniel, mind you. So Daniel and I started dating when I was 19. It had to be the beginning of the year because Daniel and I started dating at the end of the year. And once I started dating, I literally don't do any of that anymore. I don't really have an interest in doing that type of stuff. Like I'm working on buying a house, creating a business, and just drinking is not in my journey. If you drink, totally fine. That's your journey. But in my journey, I'm not doing that anymore. I went to my friend's house because she was having a party. And... There was a lot of kids there. Like at this time, she had not graduated high school yet. So she invited all of her high school kids. And I was no longer in high school, but I was under the age of 21. So I legally could not drink yet. I did end up drinking. And even in my drinking state of mind, even intoxicated, I knew that I did not want to get in trouble again. Like getting in trouble with my mom once was more than enough for me. Let me tell you. But... I was not trying to get caught up again. This wasn't even like the person I was anymore. It was just like a, a one-off type of situation. You know what I mean? Again, let me just say this real quick. I do not condone underage drinking. There is a legal age for a reason. Do not drink if you're underage. I'm just telling my story. So I just want to make that clear. Do not drink if you're underage. Now let's continue. So I did end up drinking and the cops got called because she had invited a lot of people. And so the whole street was taken up by cars. And so the neighbors had complained that the whole street was taken up by cars. I heard some noise. So they had called the cops. So when I heard that the cops were at the door, I freaked out. I'm like, what are the chances of me not drinking for years? And now I decide to drink and the cops get called. Like if this wasn't a sign from the world telling me to chill out and stop drinking, especially underage drinking, I don't know what was. So I hear the cops are coming or I hear the cops at the door. Something of that nature, I knew that the cops were about to be involved. So I'm like trying to think in my head, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh my God, like I cannot get in trouble with my mom again for underage drinking and have the cops cops involved like no like yes i understand the cops were involved the first time but like this was a whole new situation like there's the bottles everywhere so many underage kids like there was so much proof like so the cops come to the door and oh i'm so sorry for all the cars i'm having a um like a choir after party like all of us had a performance tonight and we're just kind of like just celebrating and all of this. So I'm like, oh my God, the cops are at the door. So in my state of mind, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Like I am intoxicated. I am underage and I cannot have the cops come for me. Like I'm so scared. And so in this moment, I'm like, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And then I thought, okay, no one is in her bedroom, right? So I thought if I'm sleeping, <laughs> the cops are not going to come talk to me. I'm sleeping. Therefore, it looks like I'm not even a part of this situation. I may live here or something like that, but I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. Underage drinking? What? <laughs> I would never. Me? But I just remember at some point the cops were going to come inside. And so once I heard that someone was talking to the cop at the front door, I literally rushed to her bedroom, 
got in bed, went to sleep, went to sleep. Because I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is all I got. Like I, I literally came with my friends and didn't even tell them my plan. Like it was like go time. Like me, y'all gotta fend for yourself because I cannot get in trouble again. I already knew I was making a mistake doing this. And now the world is telling me that it's gonna catch up with me. So I like instantly run to the bedroom and go to sleep. And I hear, I can hear talking like outside the door. Cause I like closed the door, but not fully, like just kind of like left it cracked. And so I hear talking and it definitely got quieter. Like these kids were like talking super loud outside inside. It got quieter, but I could hear talking. I could hear a man's voice. And then I could hear like a couple other voices. And my heart, let me tell you, I was pretending to sleep, but I could hear everything because I was not actually asleep. My heart is like pounding, but I'm way too scared to open my eyes. So I hear someone open the door, like fully open the door. And I'm like, just keep your eyes shut, just keep your eyes shut, just keep your eyes shut. They think you're sleeping. They're not gonna do anything, right? They're not gonna do anything. So I hear someone open the door and to this day, I have no idea if it was the cop, if it was one of the people that came to the party. I have no idea. All I know is they open the door and then they eventually end up coming out. No one talked to me, no one touched me and whatever. So I'm laying in there and I'm like, did the cop leave? Are they still here? I'm way too scared to get up. Because what if I get up and they're like, hey, like what's going on? And they say I'm intoxicated and I just don't know what to do. I'm just laying there because I'm way too scared to get up. Eventually my friend comes in and she's like, where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. And I look at her and I'm like, girl, <laughs> the minute I heard the cops got called, I went to sleep. I, I was like, they, s nope, not today, buddy. What happened? Like, did anyone get in trouble? Like, what's going on? Did they leave? And they're like, oh yeah, the cops already left. Like, we're not in trouble at all. The mom eventually ended up talking to the cops, explained to them, it's just an after party, high school party. There's nothing going on. None of these kids are drinking. Don't worry, I got it. I'll keep the noise under control. And they left. And no one got in trouble. Thank God. Praise the Lord Jesus that nobody got in trouble. I can do me. I'm not drinking. Low-key kind of genius, though, right? No one talked to me. I was completely out of it. And you gotta think, there's always those people that live in those houses with the partiers that never want to be a part of it. And I was just pretending to be one of those but yeah i just love y'all so much i just love sharing my stupid stories with you hopefully you guys learn from them because sometimes i like tell these stories and i'm like who did i think i was like why did i think i was gonna get away with this why did i think this was a good idea why was i even doing this so i just want you guys to know like i don't tell these stories because i want you guys to do the same i tell these stories because i want you guys to learn from my mistakes so you don't make the same ones. That was my genius stupid story of when I pretended to be asleep to avoid the cops. <laughs> but um, without further ado, I hope you all liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment what you thought, comment a random comment, comment anything that's on your mind because honestly, I'm just, I'm just trying to chat, you know what I mean? And um, Share it with someone, share it with your best friend, share it with your brother, share it with your sister, share it with your grandma, share it with your neighbor's grandma's sister's brother, you know what I mean? We just trying to get out there, we just trying to spread the word, have everyone join the 80 fam, the dopest family ever. <laughs> like Loki, like, well, what, 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 what was that? I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just kind of improving. But anyways, I really got to close out this video because I'm just getting way too loopy. Like, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. I'm just talking. <laughs> so anyways, um, I love y'all so much. Make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on that bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And until next time, 80 fam, bye!